Hi, my name is Inji Baytash and I'm a PhD student at Michigan State University. In this video, I will introduce patient subtyping via time avail STM networks, which was a collaborative study with IBM Research and Cornell University. Let's start with this question. What is patient subtyping? Patient subtyping can be explained as grouping patients based on their electronic health records. And from machine learning point of view, this problem is an unsupervised learning task. In this problem, each patient has a time sequence where clinical information is collected at each time step. One of the most efficient approaches to analyze time sequences is recurrent neural networks and its variance. In this paper, we focus on long short-term memory, which assumes that the elapsed time between successive elements is uniform throughout the sequence. However, if you look at this example, we can see there are time irregularities, which means that the elapsed time between successive visits can be days, months, or even years. In fact, this information is valuable for clinical decision making. Therefore, we ask this question, how to integrate the time gap into LSTM units? And we propose time aware LSTM. Here is an illustration of TLSTM units. TLSTM takes previous cell memory and decomposes it into long-term memory and short-term memory. Then short-term memory is discounted by a weight, which is computed by a nonlinear function of the elapsed time. Then discounted short-term and long-term memory components combine back together to use it for the rest of the architecture, which is the same as a traditional LSTM. In TLSTM, what we try to achieve is longer the elapsed time, smaller the effect of the previous memory to the current output, which is an analogy in healthcare domain. If there are years between two successive visits, then the last visit of the patient shouldn't affect the current decision-making so much. To be able to utilize time-aware LSTM in patient subtyping, we propose to use TLSTM autoencoder. And since patient subtyping is um, clustering the time sequences, we aim to learn a descriptive single representation of the patient record. For this purpose, we use the hidden state of the TLSTM encoder at the end of the sequence, and the learned representations are used for clustering the patients. Clustering can be done by, for instance, k-means. In our experiments, we, uh, we use data sets, uh, synthetic EHR data and Parkinson's progression uh, markers initiative data, which are both publicly available. And we apply TLSTM on binary classification and patient subtyping tasks. We conclude that TLSTM can capture structure, se structure of the sequence under time irregularities. Last but not least, TLSTM can be also applied to other domains where we deal with sequential data with missing elements because missing elements will introduce time irregularities such as video sequences with missing frames. Thank you very much for listening and hope to see you in KDD 2017.